Well, let's see if I can get this to, to separate quick. There's one. There's two. Hey y'all, welcome back to the journey. So if you're new here, we definitely appreciate you to click that subscribe, share it up with your friends, helps us grow. And what am I doing today? Today I'm in the blacksmith shop. So what are we working on today? Let's go check it out. This thing's going to be pretty, pretty beefy. If there's about a half an inch thick, I can get that to go down some. And then I'm going to have to drift it eye. But, yeah. We'll get the forge lit up and uh, let's get the pounding on this thing. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful Got me a handle welded up. Just make it a little easier. Cause this thing's over three pounds currently. So it's a little hard to hold and I don't want to be sticking most of this into the fire and then trying to hold it with tongs. So
All right, folks, so up to this point, for one, it's been really windy. Two, uh, Gladys and the little one have been outside here near the shop. And anytime she's near the shop, she's really loud. So I wasn't really able to have any sound on. So I do apologize for that. So basically, oh man, it's super windy today. I just kind of set the little primary bevel to begin with. Nothing major. And then now I'm going to go and start opening up this eye. I'm going to try to work from both sides the best I can. I don't know if you had noticed <laughs> in the video that the bar that I had welded to here had broke off. It's kind of unfortunate, but it happens. So I'm really just trying to get those grooves established and then from there I'll, I'll really get going. I would like to be able to rotate this to hit but unless I have someone out here with me to hold this, you know, because I can always do one, have someone hold it while I go to the other side but I don't currently have that so I'm just going to try to keep it as straight as I can going forward. So, let's get this thing opened up. Cool off your tools ever so often. Really wish that wouldn't turn like that.
Slow and steady wins the race. Definitely cooled off now. Drop forge. Drop tool. <laughs> Been a while since I've done that. No, not really. Well, here we are thus far. I'm about to hear on this one and about there on this one. So about another half an inch to go. This one's a little more centered. This one was actually drawing out. This side was getting a little hotter, but I was trying to flip them on both sides. And then here lately, I've only been heating up this side the most. But I'll still be able to get that straightened out. It'll be fine. And then, whew, this is some hard steel. Forklift time, who knew? Well. I knew, but still, I didn't think it was going to take this long, so instead of drawing out all these these videos of heat, beat, repeat, I just, uh, I'm going to come back to you guys whenever I'm done with this. Alright. Well, I finally got the eye opened up. And one thing that I really love about using those slitting chisels is you do about 80-90% to of the work from the top. And it already gives you basically the opening that you need. I'm only going to have to drift that a little tiny bit. So anytime that you're working further away from your forge, because my forge is at least four or five steps away from where my vice is, I need to drift this axe eye on my post vise. Well, this isn't the ideal setup, now I know that. But always have your tools right here ready so as soon as I bring the axe over, I can immediately grab my tools and go to work. I'm not having to look for them. So let's go ahead and finish getting this axe heated up and then 
we'll bring it over and start drifting the eye. Need to close this some. There we go. thing is so big <laughs> that's what she said need a little more heat actually a lot more heat All right, so I started out with the top. I'm gonna do probably twice on the bottom and then come back to the top with this drifting.
Whew. Be able to call that good. Put the hammer away. I'll put this down here, let it cool off naturally. Then I'll grab this. Hopefully you guys can see this. So it has that nice little hourglass shape on the inside. That's kind of what you want. I could probably go in there and clean it up just a little bit. Alright, so that's all the main forging stuff. And as I'm looking out across the field, I can see that my hour of hours of daylight is dwindling quickly. But I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down a little bit, probably overnight. I'm going to come back tomorrow and uh, we'll get this thing cleaned up. And then I'm going to have to do another video for the handle because I'm going to have to make the handle to fit this because there, there is no store-bought handle that I'm going to be able to buy for this thing. Plus with it being a hewing axe, I do want the handle to be a little bit on the bent side the way that it should. <laughs> in my opinion but uh anyway i guess uh we'll see y'all here in about three seconds yep and if you've made it this far i would like to go ahead and pause right here to give thanks to the sponsor for this video which is me <laughs> coming to you from our bonfire store if you want to check out some of our great products, like the one that I'm wearing right now, and then also we have a few other options available. There's always new shirts coming uh, soon or often or, or whatever else. Uh, always check back. We do have some coffee cups, some mugs. I think there's a tote bag. Uh, some other things. Just go in and check it out. We have the link down in the description. And now, back to our hewing axe hi y'all welcome back to day two of making our hewing axe so you've already seen the whole forging process and boom here we go got that nice eye which i'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup especially on the bottom side but that is a good looking eye and it's it's got some weight to it i, I need to throw this thing onto a scale and just see where it's at currently before I start taking any material off. So let me go grab the scale right quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the scale set up. See if you can read that. It's zeroed out because I put a napkin up there. I don't want it to measure the napkin. So put your guesses down in the comments of what you think this is going to weigh. So drum roll, please. Five pounds, 15.5.6 ounces. Ooh, baby. <laughs> so let's see what she weighs after I get done doing a lot of grinding. <laughs> so there you go. It is a little five pounds. Holy smokes. So let's go ahead and throw this thing up onto the vise and, and get cracking. And just 
remember to always use your safety equipment. I should be using a face shield. I don't currently own one. I am, however, utilizing my safety glasses. I will have hearing protection. And I am utilizing a flap disc sander. Whenever I do use grinding wheels or grinding or cutting discs, I normally would utilize my uh, welding hood with the lens taken out. And that is what I use for a face shield. But I'm gonna, I take the risks of what I feel comfortable doing and using a flap wheel sander grinder thing. I feel fine without using the, the face shield but technically you should be using it. So make sure you're doing that. So I think I'm actually gonna leave this little embellishment on the top, cause it kind of lets me know where it came from, the material. So this obviously was part of a tine from a forklift. And this right here is where it was cut off with a torch. And my buddy Matt, where I used to work is who actually cut this for me. And I want to keep that on there so I can remember that. But I do want to clean up the edges a little bit just so it's not sharp or nothing's going to hurt me. And then we'll get this, uh, the pole of this ax nice and squared up. Or not necessarily squared up, but just cleaned up on the sides.
oh, that scale is tough. So, still always gets, especially when you heat it up, it gets a, a nice film over the top of it. It's called scale. A lot of times you can break it up with a hammer, but trying to sand it off or whatnot, whew, man, tough is, that stuff is really, really hard. I'm going to have to hit this with a, an actual grinder to see if I can't get that off there. Yeah, it should be a little bit better. And I'll see if we can clean that up some more. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and and leave you guys at this point. So I got it fairly cleaned up. Let me go get it cooled off and then I'm gonna come back to the camera and let's close this video out. All right, so a lot of that grinding actually, I don't know when it stopped because apparently I had a potential spam phone call and <laughs> it 
a lot of times when that happens, it, it kicks the video off. So I do apologize for that. But as you can see, I pulled it back off of the scale. Just so you guys can see right here is what it weighs now. And it's nice and cleaned up. I still got quite a bit of cleaning that I want to do to it. I do want to leave some of this this rough scale though, but I do want to flatten the back. I want to get this nice and flat all the way across, basically like this, no pits. And I am going to make this just a single bevel. So, but I do have a, a lot more that I need to take off this. So right now, this is at about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. Might be less than that. <sighs> so, still got quite a bit to, to take down on this. And then I still need to heat treat the end. So I'm going to finish uh, cleaning this up. I'm going to finish getting this down because I, I want to get it down to, I don't know, an eighth of an inch maybe. Uh, I think that would be sufficient. About an eighth of an inch. Then I'm going to heat this up and then quench it. And then uh, basically from there I'll sharpen. I do still have to clean up a little bit in the eye. I'm going to have to get some uh, files uh, in there. Just to, I want to clean up this little edge right here. Or I do have like a little, I mean it's a really cheap piece of junk, um, Dremel, that I can uh, kind of clean that up with a, a burr. But I mean you, you can see it, it's not perfect. You know, just the, the whole shape because the, the, like I said, I, I did want to leave this, but, you know, it's not square. I mean, the, the eye is dead in line, dead in line with the blade. I don't know if you can tell. But. That came out really, really well. Plus, a lot of times, too, that these aren't perfectly flat. It actually has a little bit of a curve to it. So from the, the center of the blade, it's going to be sticking further in than where the, the points are. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to do that more in grinding. And just try to get just, and it's only a little bit. It's not a lot. So I think I can do majority of that in, in grinding, you know, try to focus on grinding more of the, the edges off here and here on the backside and then grinding more of the center here. You know, that way it, it will cause it to, to have just a, li a little bit of a bow. That's, that's it. But all right, y'all. So. I hope you're happy with the, the process thus far. Like I said, I am going to come back with another video and making the handle for this. I don't know exactly when I'll get to that, but just know that I need this. So it's going, that video will be coming very soon because I do need this with some of the projects that are coming up very, very soon. So yeah, well, it's a, another bright, sunny day. I don't want to waste it completely out here in the forge i do have some other things i need to take care of today and yeah plus we got appointments and stuff this week that is also going to take away with take away from some of the things that we need to get done but all right y'all well i hope you're enjoying the journey <sighs> welcome back to the blacksmith shop just know that this is the last project that i'm doing here i'm about to move all this stuff over to the property and Whew, man, what else do I got? Nothing. I ain't got nothing else for you. So make sure you're thinking of veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, y'all. Bye-bye now.